The Rarest Flowers in the World, Part 2 Some flowers need to resort to highly aggressive advertising to attract insects. Are you ready to meet them? Titan Arum From the rainforests of Sumatra, Indonesia comes the corpse flower. Nicknamed that since it reeks of death. Believe me, I'm not kidding, it reeks! And although its rotting flesh smell is undeniable, you need to know it isn't exactly a flower, but a group of flowers. In other words, an inflorescence that can reach up to 10 feet tall. The Titan Arum emits an odor that attracts insects and then loads them with pollen. By the way, these little things are its male flowers, while these are female. And although they're in the same inflorescence, they cannot pollinate themselves. The foul smell must come from the desperation of the plant to reproduce, as it only blooms every 10 years and wilts within a few hours. Its short duration makes it a star among greenhouses. After all, if you've never smelled a dead body, you may even enjoy the experience. Before continuing with this aromatic video, do you know what flowers appear in this scene from Mulan? What beautiful blossoms we have this year. But look. Yes, take a good look. And guess what flower it is? A. Cherry. B. Lily. C. Magnolia. Do you know the answer? I don't know. Then stay until the end. Bumblebee Orchid. The bumblebee orchid grows naturally in Western European countries like Spain. Portugal, Italy, and France. And its flower is one of the rarest in the world, not only for its appearance, but also for how it attracts its pollinators, male bees of the genus Eucera. Do you have any idea how it does it? Simple, its flowers resemble a bee. They're the size of a bee and also releases the scent of a female bee, which attracts several suitors that falsely mate with this kind of inflatable doll. In the end, these horny bees keep falling into the same trap several times and make it possible for 15% of the bumblebee orchid flowers to bear fruit, each carrying between 4,000 to 6,000 seeds. Swaddled Baby's Orchid Where's the baby? There he is! Stop it! You're scaring it! Can't you see it's shaped like a baby? This cute orchid grows in the humid and high areas of Venezuela, Colombia, Peru, and Ecuador. And as you may have noticed, it's well known for its crib-shaped inflorescence that can reach up to 7.8 inches long. Inside them is a 4-inch long flower that resembles a baby. Naked Man Orchid this native Mediterranean orchid is quite curious. It has a cone-shaped inflorescence that reach 1 to 3 inches long and can feature up to 50 flowers that look like little paper men hanging from the neck. Its pollinators are bees, bumblebees, and beetles. The naked man orchid is found in large areas of the Mediterranean regions, in countries such as Italy, Spain, Turkey, or Israel. Despite this large habitat, this species is endangered because many people inspired by the long thing these little men have between their legs use it as an aphrodisiac, while others use it to... Jimmy Chungus! Oh, they're making a run for the border! Exactly. To relieve diarrhea. Monkey Orchid You'll understand the reason behind its name just by looking at it. The monkey orchid is native to Ecuador and Peru, and scientific name is Dracula simia, and it's so strange that many can't resist the temptation to try growing them in their garden. But be careful, because it needs an average temperature of 66 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and 51 degrees Fahrenheit at night. It's definitely a highly demanding orchid. Do you know how to identify one? It's quite easy. Here's the tutorial. Orchids are flowers characterized for being symmetrical. Its main feature is that they're composed of three sepals and three petals, of which one is modified and is called labellum. It's usually located at the bottom of the flower and adopts a different color and extravagant shapes to attract pollinators. 
fact, only the genus Dracula, where the monkey orchid belongs to, have several orchids that resemble the face of an ape, such as the Dracula Lotax that looks like a baboon, the scary Dracula Vampira, or this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one too, the Dracula Chimera that resembles a monkey with a big snout. Wouldn't you like to have some of these flowers in your garden? To learn more about nature, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Trend Max, and turn on the notifications. Hurry, before they wilt! Hot Lips The flowers of this plant wouldn't be spectacular at all if they weren't surrounded by a pair of very red modified leaves that shortly before flowering resemble two overly painted lips as if someone had put on a lot of lipstick which is why some rude people have also called them hook slips. When the flowers open, the modified leaves separate a little, so its resemblance to red lips is often lost. Such a shame. Its deep color is essential to attract animals and be pollinated. It lives in the tropical rainforests of Central and South America, but due to deforestation, this gorgeous flower is endangered. Lithops Werneri there are animals that look like stone, Pokemon that look like stone, but have you ever heard of a plant that looks like a stone? I have. Let me introduce you to the Lithops werneri, a rather unique species. Like all plants of the genus Lithops, it consists of two paired leaves that resemble a stone with a slit in the middle from where the flower sprouts. In the case of Lithops werneri, it has a stunning yellow coloration. This way, the flower seems like it's floating between the rocks. It inhabits the mountains of Arongo, in Namibia, a place covered with small, smooth stones, preventing them from being eaten. Unfortunately, too many Lithops werneri were collected in the 50s, and it was considered extinct in the wild until 2012, when adult specimens were found again. And now, let's move on to an alleged rose that can move around the desert. Bonus, True Rose of Jericho. See this that looks like a tumbleweed? It's the True Rose of Jericho, native to the deserts of Israel, Arabia, and the Sahara. Despite what its name suggests, it isn't a flower, but a whole plant. In the dry season, its branches can close and stay dry for several years. The strong desert wind can make it roll thousands of miles as if it were a tumbleweed from the Wild West. But when it comes in contact with water, the true Rose of Jericho turns green and even displays small white flowers. Queen of the Night this dazzling and interesting flower of 9.8 inches in diameter usually grows in Central and South American countries, although it has also been introduced in other parts of the world. It relies on other plants to grow and uses its stems to cling to rocks or logs and feed on moss and other substances found on the surface. You won't be able to appreciate its beauty whenever you want to since it blooms only once for a year for a single night generally between July to October. It starts to blossom when the sun has already set and takes around three hours for all the petals to open. Beautiful in all its glory. However, the flower begins to wilt before dawn, a characteristic that explains its name, Queen of the Night. If during that short time the Queen of the Night is fertilized, it will produce a unique pink fruit with a white center and black seeds. Clearly, too many peculiarities in a single plant. Darwin Slipper. This flower was discovered by none other than Charles Darwin, the creator of the theory of evolution, during one of his trips to Tierra del Fuego, an island in southern Chile and Argentina. It really is a splendid specimen. Yes, Darwin. However, I'm not talking about that fossil, but this beautiful flower. Its former scientific name was Calciolaria darwini, which translates to Darwin Slipper. Come on. It does look like a shoe. Some Anglo-Saxon countries currently call it a happy alien because if you take a good look, it somewhat resembles E.T. It emits a light scent attractive to insects and small birds, like the greenback fire crown, and due to its cold habitat, it can endure temperatures of up to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And after this discovery made by Darwin, it's time to discover the flower that appeared in Mulan. 
Do you already know which one's the right option? The answer is C, Magnolia. Specifically, the Magnolia lily flora species, which is native to China and also has pink flowers like in the movie. In fact, it's known as Milan Magnolia, hence the protagonist's name. To learn more interesting facts about her and the film, watch the video 10 Curious Facts About Mulan You Didn't Know. The link is on the screen. See you there. Bat-Faced Kufia If you look closely, this beautiful orchid resembles a beautiful... bat. Can you see it now? Well, if you want to find this rare flower, you'll have to go to Mexico and be quite watchful since these flowers are only one inch long. But don't let its size fool you, they're pretty tough, since they bloom in late spring and endure even the coldest winter. Their red petals are pretty attractive to hummingbirds and butterflies, which end up helping in the reproduction of these bats from the plant kingdom. If you like natural sciences, click on this or this video. They're awesome.